this one's really cool here because look at this dry stack wall that's down here. It's pretty cool. I don't know if there was an old trail through here or something, but you can see all the stone that's gathered here. And this one was purposely put like this. This is one of my best trees, I think, as far as production. Let's check this out. Oh, yep. I think that's almost full. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a good three gallons in there. Okay, I got quite a bit of that one, and then I've got that big one down there. If you can see that, there's a bucket down there. That's another big black walnut with two taps in it. That one's probably gonna be pretty full too, so I need to go get another bucket. All right, what do we got here? Oh, yep, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, another two and a half gallons maybe. Last thing I want to do is trip and spill all this good sap. Okay, there we go. Those two five gallon buckets are just from these couple trees right here, these two big ones. And then I have got four small ones down there that had a little bit in there. So that's a good eight gallons right there. Awesome. something different next year. These five gallon buckets are full, except for this one here, it's almost full. And on the trail, it's just all over the place. And I'm gonna have to go back already and drop these off and get more. Um, this is too much. I'm gonna have to do something different next year. Bigger container on the back. have this thing topple over and spill everywhere. I got a piece of twine kind of holding it there, but yeah, this is not the best situation. gallon at, at least a gallon per bucket per tree shoot I'm not gonna have enough I got a couple more you know, I got four or five more trees to do and these are all full I might have to go back and get another empty bucket Another gallon. Uh oh, I'm gonna run out of room here. Oop, oop, oop. Shoot. Uh -oh. Well. Maybe I'll just collect the rest in this bucket and then come back and put another one back down here. And I had already dropped off four other buckets, I think. Yeah, I've already, man, that's quite a bit. I collected so far 70 gallons of sap. And what I'm doing is, because it's kind of warm outside, is I'm freezing it. So I've got three five gallon buckets in the freezer here along with my deer and, and uh, a cow. Um, I'm able to get three in this deep freeze here and then I got three out here and I'm kind of rotating them through the freezer and outside because these are frozen solid so they'll stay good and then I've got more in the fridge 
So then in the refrigerator here, I've got five more five gallon buckets. Um, and that's keeping that cool. This is uh, some of the older stuff that I had um, that I've rotated out of the freezer. And then here I've got three more five gallon buckets that I'm rotating between the freezer and the refrigerator. So I'm trying to keep everything as fresh as possible. Although all of this is only a week old. So I've got 70 gallons in the past two weekends um, with only a few days of really good sap making days. All right, time to cook. I'm gonna pull these out and sit them out in the sun and let them start thawing out. So there it is, 70 gallons of sap. Yeah, next year I'm gonna have to get a big, bigger holding tank. All right, before I put any sap in the cooker, I'm using a five gallon, empty five gallon bucket and this filter that I'm going to pour all of the sap through. Just putting that on there like that. Just kind of like a pre-filter just to get some of the debris out there. Get this fire started. Use a fat wood. That's what I like to start my fires with. All right, I'm gonna have to rig something up to uh, set this tray on so it just doesn't fall in there. I mean, it is just wide enough to fit on there, but. It slides one way or the other it might go in so this angle iron is probably not going to do it but i'll get something later i need to start cooking wow that i think that pan will hold a five gallons Oh yeah, okay. So I'm not gonna turn it on yet. I'm gonna wait for this to get boiling. I just got the fire going. So once that gets boiling and steaming off, then I'll start dripping that. That back there is our modern farmhouse build. And this right here says outbound waste, but I don't think so. I did a little dumpster diving to get all that. That right there is fuel. Fuel for my barrel stove sap cooker. this free fuel from our house build it's working perfect for my fire here that'll get going really good yeah free fuel i love it skimming off all of the bubbles. These are all the impurities boiling out. So I'm just gonna continue to do this all day long, even into the final boil inside. 